SureCard has one of the most functional and customizable customer dashboards that you can get out of an e-commerce tool for WordPress. The only thing is it uses the WordPress block editor and not everyone wants to use the block editor. We understand that there's many different types of WordPress users and everybody kind of has their preference for the page building tool that they use. So if you're using Divi or Elementor or Bricks Builder, you just name it. There are so many of them. Now we have a way for you to be able to build out your customer dashboard inside of your page builder using a short code. This by far has been one of the biggest requests that we've received, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. You're gonna to wanna to refer to this knowledge base doc that we have for these short codes. So when you scroll down, here are the short codes for creating that customer dashboard. And here are the short codes for the order summary confirmation pages. Now, there's a couple caveats that you're going to want to make sure that you fully understand. When you install and activate SureCart, it's going to create a page named Customer Dashboard, and it's going to assign it to be the Customer Dashboard. And you'll see next to the page name, it'll say hyphen Customer Dashboard. This is the page that must be the Customer Dashboard. So on my live site, I'll go here to pages and you can see here it is right here, customer dashboard. Now you can change the name of this. You can change the name of the page right here to be whatever that you want it to be, but it has to be this particular page that you use with your page builder. And here's the reason why. It says, because we redirect users here from emails. So when an email receipt goes out, say it's a digital download file and someone clicks on that or the, or someone wants to see their order history or, or download a receipt or something along those lines, it's going to send them to that page. So that's why you can't just create a new page, name it customer dashboard and start using these short codes. You have to do it on the assigned page. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these right here into my clipboard. Let's go ahead and copy these and try to create a customer dashboard using Elementor. So here I am back at this page. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna instead click right here where it says edit with Elementor. It's gonna take me into Elementor. And the first thing I probably wanna do is set up this Elementor page. Let me get rid of the navigator here. So I'm going to remove what was there. I am going to go into the page settings right here and I'm gonna set the page layout to full width and let's see what we're looking at. Now we have this full blank canvas. Now you can do whatever you want design wise, but I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to add a short code block. There it is. I'll choose it and drag it to my canvas. And then right here, I'm gonna paste in the short code right there and then click on apply. And it should render out. So let me click on update. And then I'm gonna go right here and click on preview. So obviously I didn't design the page in Elementor, uh, but you can see the different sections. So we've got the orders and inside of the short code, you can change what this says here, this bit of text. I've got the subscriptions, you can change that. All of these headings you're gonna be able to change. It was right there inside of the short code and you can see everything's just listed out right here and you can end up doing whatever you want. So when I click in it, you can see I'll expand this a little. Right here are the titles for each of these pages. Now, there's lots of different things that you can do with this. There's a lot of flexibility that this is going to end up giving to you. You saw just a moment ago, it was just a list of all the sections, but maybe you might want to have some form of an accordion. You can accomplish that kind of a style very easily, depending on the different modules that your page builder gives you. So I'm gonna do a search for accordion and we have tabs or accordion. Actually, let's just go ahead and do tabs. So I'll put that right there. And so I can have a tab and I can place whatever I want inside of the tab. So let's go ahead and get rid of this short code right here. I'll right click and then choose delete. And inside of the first tab, I'll go to this text view. I'll remove the text. 
and then I'm going to paste in my short code. But you know what? I actually don't want all of the elements in there. I probably just want the my orders. So I'm going to edit out the things that are not my orders. There we go. And I'm going to change the tab label to say my orders. Now for the second tab, I'm going to go into and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just go ahead and paste it all in and let's get rid of my orders and let's have it be my subscriptions, which is listed right underneath it. And I'm going to tweak that a little bit and let's change the label of the tab. All right, I'll just go ahead and click on update and then let's give this a preview. You can see now I'm on the orders tab and I have the list of orders and right here now I'm on the subscriptions tab and your buyers will be able to click into these if they want. So if I wanted to say click into this order, I can do that and here's the order details and here is the button to download the receipt or the invoice. Also, when we scroll down, here are the short codes for order confirmations. And you'll see in here as well, there's little places here for you to change the text that would come out. So here's a little notice that would be at the top. Right here is the button text. And you can just tweak these to have them say what you want them to say. Now, I know I didn't spend much time designing something. The point was that you can use the tools that your page builder gives you to place the elements that make up the customer dashboard. And you can place them wherever and however you desire. You just have to make sure though, that you are doing all of this on the assigned customer dashboard page in order for all those emails to work that your buyers are gonna receive where there's gonna be links taking them back to your website.